Hey guys, want to see how I got these IO moths to copulate in captivity? Guys, I got it freshly emerged, Automaris IO from the Keys. I, I reared a generation of them, and these are some adults that emerged today. We got a male and a female that emerged, and now I've got them copulating. I'm going to show you how we did it, guys. Check this video out. You know you're a masochist when you... A masochist. Do you know what a masochist is, son? Yeah. What is a masochist? Kind of. Like a crazy person? No. Well, kind of. Yeah. Somebody who enjoys inflicting themselves pain. Mm. Oh. Yeah, they're all over. Right there. Ooh. Bunch right there. No. All right. Well, our first. Florida Keys IO Moth has emerged. Look at you, buddy boy. Got that nice orangey rust color. I love it. Let me see if I can pull him out and put him on a limb or something so I can take some videos. Actually, I'm gonna put him, I'll put him right there. Look at you. Florida Keys Isle Moth, guys. Gravity has to stretch those wings down as they pump blood or fluids into the wings from the abdomen that are stored in the abdomen. And, you know, within the next probably 15 minutes or so, it should take most of its shape, but then we'll take several hours to dry. But very excited. We have our first reared Florida Keys Io Moth. All right, we got our male Io Moth from the Keys here. I'm going to see if he's dry enough to open his wings. Let's see what happens when I disturb. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's a cool bug right there, guys. They use that as a defense mechanism, obviously, if something's going to try and eat this guy and comes and approaches it, they flash those hind wings to try and scare the predator. So look at those bad boys. What a beautiful moth. They got that really rusty color forewing. Beautiful moth, man. A lot different than our, our Isle moth from the rest of the United States. Even the South Florida one in Miami, the wings are yellow, not this orangey rust color. So pretty cool bug. Glad I can show you a reared specimen of the Florida Keys version of the Io Moth. Well, the Io Moth is definitely one of my favorites. For sure, one of my South Florida favorites. Um, this guy is now dry. His wings are dry. He's cooling the jets a little bit. I'm sorry, he's warming the jets a little bit, getting ready to fly. He probably wants to go find a, his a girlfriend, right? Yeah, so Io Moth, guys, incredible bug. Uh, hopefully see a female soon. The male's, male's pretty, the female's quite a bit larger. Oops, come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. Female's quite a bit larger. He's got that rust color. Um, hope to get another, I really do hope to get another brood of these going. If I can get a male and a female to merge on the same day, I'll, uh, I'll cage them up together and get some more, you know, get them to copulate and get some more eggs going. Look at this guy. Love it. Let's wait for the girls now. All right, guys, exciting moment here. I've got 
a female IO moth emerged. And this is exciting because I was hoping to get a male and a female emerge at the same time. So she just popped out. So she's still spreading her wings and drying. And about two days ago, I have a male popped out right here. And he was a little bit deformed. So I, what I figured was I would use him to just, I'll put him in a container and just wait and hope that a female would emerge. And guys, guess what? A female emerged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a little more time to dry her wings and get settled. And I'm going to put both of them inside of a container together and, and, kind of hang it, I'll hang it outside at tonight and hopefully they will uh, copulate and we can be, get some fertile eggs and get round two of the IO moth from the Florida Keys. That would be really, really cool. In fact, let me, let me just take her real quick and just see. Let's see how, oh yeah, man, she's, She's magnificent, man. I am off from the Florida Keys. The females have that real, like, brick-colored forewing. Um, the hind wing's got, the obviously, the yellow eye spots, or the yellow hind wing with the eye spots. The eye spots on the Florida Keys subspecies are a little smaller than the one in the mainland, so that would be a difference. But... I'm just gonna let her dry her wings because she's chilling. Let me see, shoot. Okay guys, it's been it's been three hours since the IO moth emerged. And I wanna show you guys something. Her wings are fully pumped out and she's got a little organ extended from her abdomen. And I believe that that is the organ that is calling or sending the pheromone to attract males. So that's a pretty cool thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my male who's been waiting patiently for the last 48 hours and I'm going to Be patient, dude. I waited a lot longer than two days. So, um, I am going to gently try and do this as gently as possible. Because what I'd like to do, I want to see if they'll copulate right in this thing. All right, guys, exciting day. I have finally female IO moths emerged from the Florida Keys. And what I'd like to, let me show you these little, come on, open up, open up, open up, open up. She's kind of opening up. All right, so here's the deal. I don't want this to be my only generation because I so seldom ever see this subspecies. This is a different subspecies than we're getting in the rest of the state of Florida and the rest of the United States. This is subspecies Lilith. That's only in the Florida Keys. And so I want to try and get another generation through of these. So I've got this female and I'm going to put her inside. I've got a big rearing cage here and I'm going to, there we go. All right, female number one. I also have, I also have two other ones in here. This one, gosh male and a female guys look at this I'm going to show you our male aisle Lilith this guy's so freshly emerged and then we've got this beautiful female here it's a pretty one so you guys want to see Io moths from the Florida Keys, guys. This is what they look like. All right. That's what they look like. 
and um, they are pretty. Um, the males have more of a rust color instead of yellow. You can see the rust color. Um, eyes are smaller. These little eye spots are smaller than regular eye moths. Females, they're sort of similar, but the, the big difference between the female from the Keys and the female and the rest of the mainland is that the, um, the, the forewing has less of a, of a modeled pattern. It's got like some more of a matte pattern and the eyes on the back are smaller than the ones on the mainland, typically. Obviously they're variable, but what we're gonna do, we are gonna put two boys and two girls in this cage. All right, let's just do this right. Come on. Come on. There we go, come on. Oh, don't fly. Don't want you to fly. What I want you to do is, there we go. Then I have one more, one more that I wanna put in. So we have two boys and two girls. We're gonna give this a shot. I haven't got 20, 26 pupa total. And, whoa, dude, he's already almost ready to fly. Let's see, Let's see if I can get him to crawl up on my finger. Okay, that's good enough. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, so, okay, climb up there. Okay, perfect. Now, we've got two males and two females here, guys, in my little cage. And hopefully, the girls will start emitting their pheromone and the boys will come and do their thing. Um, I'm gonna hang them outside once after I zip this up. All right, I needed two hands to zip that up, guys. So, we've got, we got, oh, one of the girls went down, one of the girls is up top. We got two boys hanging there in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, I'm gonna take this whole thing outside and hang it. And we are just going to wait and see if these guys. Okay, I have one of these little rubber twisty ties and I've got this mechanism, this little thing here, I'm just gonna hang it. And what we're gonna do, we are just gonna watch and I will check this cage periodically throughout the night and see if the IOs do their thing. That's <laughs> super exciting guys. And I'm hoping, I've never hoped so much. Well, maybe, maybe that's not totally the truth, but I've never hoped so much that bugs would, um, a boy bug and girl bug would uh, get to know each other very quickly because I want more eggs so we can keep breeding IO moths. So, uh, sun's almost down. Um, nice night. No, no rain in the forecast. Um, hopefully there's no ants that are going to find my bugs. Uh, we keep them off the ground like that. So pests and raccoons, rats, that kind of thing. Don't find them. And hopefully, well, this guy's already flying. All right. Great news, guys. Fantastic news. It's about an hour into the evening and we got one very, very happy male IO moth. So I'll wait for them to finish and then I'll put the female in a cage with some cuttings of her host plant. Now the other one is in the back there, female sitting there and then we have a male sitting over here with nothing, so. But we got one, guys. So let's hope for generation number two. I love how he just, he just hangs out there. He's like, he's just hanging off of her. 
All right, guys, I brought my cage inside it's the next day. And I got my female Io. She is fertile. Her and her boyfriend are done. And what I did, what I'm going to do is I've got a container full of bay leaves in a water pick. And I'm just going to put her inside of there. And I'll let her crawl around and taste the rainbow. And I would say within a day or two, she's going to start laying eggs. So the trick is just make sure she doesn't dry out. She should have enough uh, enough moisture to keep her from drying out, but they don't feed as adults. So I don't have to feed her. They don't have even have a mouth part. And what I could do, I have a little opening here for air, but I'm actually, get, there's enough air in here for days for her. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave this as is and check it every four or five hours and wait until she lays some eggs. I guarantee it won't be long, guys. So check this out. All right, guys, it has been uh, seven or eight hours. And cool thing is I've got more Iomaws emerged. I've got a male there and I've actually got two females in this container that are both happily drying their wings. But moment of truth, guys, I'm gonna check and see if our gravid female that has mated has laid any eggs. So I put her in this container here. Um, we're going to check her out and see if she has laid any eggs for us because we would love to have round two. And guys, look at that. She has laid a good cluster of eggs, guys, and she is just beginning. That is great, great news because I'm going to get round two from the Io Moth. Oh, man, there's... She did a bunch, look at that. They're on that leaf there. There's a bunch of them there. And there's underneath this leaf as well. So I've got at least 30 more eggs already. And I would assume that she'll lay eggs for the next few days. So if she's happy there, I'm just gonna leave her there and won't mess with her anymore. Guys, that's it. Uh, round two coming up, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I've got really cool bugs like these io moths in fact if i'm gonna do a video on the io moth i might as well just show off the io moth look at this this is a boy let's see oh he's got a little piece of chrysalis stuck on his head there can i get it off for him i don't know but he's giving me his eyes all right guys hope you enjoy the video uh give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe until next time Let's go out and check out some cool tropical, oop, a little bit of afterbirth for you. Tropical malls, guys. Take care. Bye now.